Cancer, this is going to be your general love reading for October. All right, so October is spooky month, and fitting for the occasion, I always break out my spooky deck in October because October is my favorite month because it has Halloween. <laughs> All right. So, let's dive right in, Cancer. So, this is a timeless reading. Um, whenever you find it, it's for you. But, I will specifically be focusing on the energy of October to see what we can predict for you for October, okay? Alright, but if you find this reading, know that you found it for a reason. All right, reading now for Cancer. What do we got for Cancer? Calling in my ancestors, my spirit guides. Calling in Cancer's ancestors and spirit guides. All are welcome here. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's rock and fucking roll. Ding, 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 Cancer. All right, boom. Damn, Cancer. <laughs> Looks like you got some good stuff coming in in regards to your love life. We have the world. Wow. So whatever you've been wishing for, it's already yours. Whatever you've been dreaming about, it's already yours. Whoever you've been thinking about kissing, they're already kissing you back. Boom. Let's keep shuffling. Ooh. All right, Cancer, so you've been doing a whole lot of work on yourself, haven't you? That's my card of, like, really hard work, yes? Mommy. Hold on. Hi, Cancer, sorry about that. Um, never a dull day at this household. All right, so let's keep going. Um, <clears throat> you've been doing a lot of spiritual work on yourself, You've been doing a lot of work on yourself, period. You've been doing lots of healing. Lots of deep emotional trauma has been healed by you recently. Wow. The energy feels fucking amazing. And I just saged this whole entire house to prepare for your guys' reading. And I also did some da 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 palo santo. So the energy is fantastic in this room right now Ta -da -da -da. there's my dragon blood smaged sage it's white sage smudge and dragon's blood all right so we have knight of wands wow this is unbelievable <laughs> so oh it's so funny i i just recently did a read for um a personal read for someone who is a cancer <laughs> and it's really funny this same sort of energy you know keeps coming out specifically for cancer um so it's a knight of wands it's the energy of someone that wants to come in with a love offer right but this person so the knight of wands is not necessarily a bad energy but it's a, a it's an energy of someone who can be a bit hasty um, I would describe them as very Sagittarius like energy. So it, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it's fire sign energy. So Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and it's someone who can come in very quickly without really thinking things through, right? It's someone who makes split decisions and they don't always think things through before they do things. So they can have a tendency to rush into things without really thinking it through. So the energy is not necessarily bad. It's just very spontaneous. So someone does want to make a love offer, but you might want to make sure that this person is genuine about, you know, the offer and they're not just, you know, you're not just one of their flavors of the month, basically, is what I'm trying to say, I suppose. <clears throat> so let's pull a few more cards to see what we can dive into. Death. Wow. So... This huge transformation that you've been going through cancer has made a huge impact on your love life. And if this 
this energy, this Knight of Wands energy, if this is someone who you've dealt with in the past, I feel like this, your whole transformation has also impacted them in some sort of way. It's almost like they can feel it. Does that make sense, Cancer? You guys are very highly connected. Boom. I know exactly who I have to send this reading to now. <laughs> That's, inc that's crazy incredible. So the high priestess, Cancer, you've been doing a hella, hella, hella work on your intuition. Wow. So it's not even that you've done work on your intuition. It's that your intuition right now at this point is really, really strong and it's on point. So I feel like you already might know who this person is. And for some reason, your guys' energy is really, really strongly tied together. So any changes that you make in your energy fields in regards to your healing, they're going to feel it, right? And they can feel that you've shifted your energy somehow away from them. And they don't like it, Cancer. The high priest is about intuitively knowing things. So if you know that this person is up to no good, I would just walk away. Boom. I was just going to say walk away and look at what... Look at what the next card is. It's five of cups. So Cancer, you, you are definitely turning your back on something. But there's two other cups here. There's two other things that are going to keep you occupied. So if you make a choice to walk away from this connection, you have two other connections in the wings. Okay. We're going to get two more cards and we're going to move along. Wow. Okay, what else do we have for Cancer? Wow, the Empress. Okay, look at that, Cancer. So, holy moly. Your intuition's popping. You've gone through a massive transformation. You've healed a lot of your childhood trauma wounds, right? And now you're in this energy of beauty and grace. And that's going to draw a lot of attention, Cancer. A lot of attention. Your intuition is, is especially on point. So you're going to know... Who to let in and who to not let in. Wow, I am so freaking proud of you. This is incredible energy. It's so beautiful. You're going to be turning a lot of heads, Cancer. Not just this, this Knight of Wands that, you know, has may have caught your eye. But other people are going to be turning to take a notice. And if you are a Divine Feminine, you know, like a Feminine energy that I'm talking to right now. Um, I feel like you might be because if you look on this Empress card, there's a sign of the female here and the High Priestess is also a female. You're going to be drawing so many male attention. Can I just say that? You're in full fucking seductress mode. You go, girl. Last and final card for Cancer. Nine of Cups, Cancer. Look at that. There's your happily ever after. There's the connection that you've been waiting on, Cancer. If you've been waiting on another connection, you know, I don't know if it's this Knight of Wands or if it's a different connection, but there's the connection. You're what they wished for, okay? And possibly you're, or you have wished for them, Cancer. It's very, very possible. It's possible you guys wished for each other. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. This is my Gypsy Witch cards. What else does Cancer need to know? What else do we have for Cancer? It's so hard to shuffle these cards, y'all. They are falling apart. These cards specifically are so flimsy. They, were, they weren't really expensive. This card just flew out. But I wish I would have paid more for them because they're really flimsy and actually sort of cheap. So we have sweethearts. I told you, Cancer, someone is crushing on you, heavy. They're daydreaming about you day and night, day and night. Heavy, heavy, heavy attraction to you, Cancer. Really freaking heavy. Oh, my God. Ecclesiastic. So this person is either very spiritual or they have dreamed about marrying you. This is the card. It's, it's ecclesiastic. It's a priest. So it either represents someone who's religious, spiritual, or someone who has very, very often thought of marriage with you. You know? Oh, my goodness. 
with it coming out with the sweetheart card, it feels like marriage. Like they've thought about settling down with you. They may not have told you this journey. So there might be some distance between you guys. It feels like um, there might be physical distance or emotional distance. They might, you know, emotionally be far away from you. Like you want them to open up a little bit more or maybe you need to open up more. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Um, or they might physically live far away from you. You might have to journey to see each other. If this is someone who lives far away from you, I would say yes, that's who I'm referring to. Okay. Um, my daughter just drew me that picture of that like cat mermaid. <laughs> it's so cute. She's so creative and she just makes my night. When I'm getting ready to work... And she brings me beautiful things. Hope. See, whoever this is, this has this is a strong past connection. So you guys have had a connection probably before. And they feel like you're their anchor, right? There's a very strong, passionate connection. And again, there's the boat. So there's this energy of traveling. This person might live really far away from you, Cancer. You guys might have to travel to see each other. Um, also, this feels very Cancerian. It feels almost like the chariot energy, right? So it could represent another Cancer or another um, water sign. Take that how it resonates. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into your Earth Magic cards. Wow, crazy, crazy energy. So this Friday is Friday the 13th. I'm really excited about it. 13 is my lucky number. And I always seem to have such amazing blessings on every Friday the 13th. It's crazy, right? Most people are like scared. They're like, it's so unlucky. And I'm like, yay, it's my lucky day. <laughs> All right. So the Gemstone Hideaway Hut. One year anniversary for those of you that attended. Thank you so much. It was hella fun. And it was a huge turnout. And it was a very successful. And to all of you who came out to visit me, you kept me so busy. And I had so much fun with all of you. Oh, my God. It was the best. It was the absolute fucking best. Ooh, look at you, Cancer. You're going to have some huge, beautiful reason to celebrate. For some of you, we keep getting houses here. I feel like for some of you, you're, it's going to be like new housing. You're going to be moving for some of you. Not that it has anything to do with love, but I tend to pick up other messages and I'll channel them for you. Mountain strength. Wow. So this month, um, not this month, but September was really fucking rough for you. And your spirit guides are so fucking proud of you. They're like, oh, you got through it, Cancer. Look at you, you fucking boss. You are such a boss, Cancer. Can I just say that? My God. Wow, Cancer. Look at this. Incredible. Full moon completion. So just as I was saying that you were, you got the world card, which means that it was the world card, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. Where you completed the cycle, whatever, there it is. This also represents completion of cycles. So you've, you've just gotten through a huge karmic cycle, okay? In regards to learning stuff about your love life. And it's done. And so now all of these freaking amazing blessings are coming in. Because you've closed out a huge karmic cycle. Wow, look at that at the bottom of the deck. There it is, that whale, that breach. So you're breaking through to the surface. And look at that. It's clarity, fog, veiled. Nothing is is hiding anymore you're breaking through to the surface everything that was hidden from you in regards to any connections in your life and your love life is going to be revealed the truth is coming out everything will come to light so to speak holy crap <laughs> i can't even it's so beautiful all right so we're going to go ahead and get a final spirit message card for you cancer um with my oracle of the unicorns see what what message final message your spirit guides have for you you've done a phenomenal job last month and this month cancer and you're going to reap all of those beautiful blessings 
Dear spirit guides, are so proud of you and so am I. You're going to have your pick and choose of whoever you want in your love life. Don't forget that you create your reality, Cancer. You decide who you want to spend your time with. Okay. All right. What final message do you have for my beautiful Cancers? Hey, beautiful watery Cancers. What do we got for them? This one's sticking out. I want to get it. Celebration again. Oh my God. Let's do a backtrack, Cancer. Okay. We have this one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Cancer. Celebration. Celebration. There are so many blessings coming in. You're going to be dancing your butt off to the tune of your own drum because so many good things are coming in in regards to your love life and in regards to your life in general. The owl represents wisdom. You are so freaking wise. There's two owls here. You're so wise, Cancer, and so filled with wisdom that you don't even need me to tell you this. You can probably teach all of this stuff yourself. You have all the messages you need. I don't even know why you tune into me. I'm just kidding. Don't stop watching me. But seriously, Cancer, you're on the right path. You are so on point right now. I can feel your freaking alignment. The universe is winking at you. You know, it says celebration of positive outcome is assured. So if you had any doubt about this connection, it's they say the universe is saying a positive outcome is assured. Don't doubt it. You're on the right path. This is the right connection for you. Celebrate your success and enjoy your achievements because you've come so far. My beautiful Cancers, you're going to be dancing. All right. I love you so much, Cancer. If you want to purchase the reading with me, you know what to do. Click on the um, description box below my videos. There's all my prices. Click on the Goldie appointment fix. Please, if anything resonated for you, like and subscribe. I love you, Cancer. Thank you. Bye.